Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain what to do when the correlation function shows only ones and an A values in the correlation matrix. In this video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 9 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that a bunch of data is created at the top right of RStudio and we have also created one data set which is called data and we can print the head of this data set or the first six lines of this data set by running line 10 of the code and then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our example data contains three columns x1, x2 and x3. All of these columns contain numeric values However, you can also see that each of the columns contains an A values as well. So let's assume that we want to create a correlation matrix which is showing the correlations between the variables in our data frame. Then we might try to apply the core function as you can see in line 12 of the code. And in this line of code, I'm applying the core function to our data set. And if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the output contains a correlation matrix. However, as you can see, each of the correlations between the variables in our data set have been set to an A. And the reason for that is that our input data set is containing an A values in the three columns of our data set. And in order to avoid that the core function returns only an A values for the correlations, we can use the use argument within the core function and we can set this argument to the character string complete ops because this removes all observations in our data frame that are incomplete and for that reason it is possible to calculate the correlations between our variables. So if you run line 14 of the code you can see that another correlation matrix is returned and as you can see this time the proper correlations between our variables are returned. So at this point I want to note that it's important to make sure that you are not removing too much data from your data set due to NA values and that you make sure that the structure of the missing values is not systematic. Otherwise, it makes a lot of sense to apply different methods to your NA values such as missing data imputation and you can find more information about that on my homepage statisticsglobe.com. On my homepage you can also find more information on the content of this tutorial because I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.